Hey everyone, it's Oli Lundley here from One Number, and today we're going to take a look at aliases in Tableau. If you've seen these around, hopefully today will help you understand when to use them and how to make them. Uh, you can download this workbook, it's in the description below, but you can also follow along with uh, Sample Superstore in your copy of Tableau. So what is an alias? Well, an alias is the term that Tableau supplies to the members of a dimension if we change them. Right, so what exactly does that mean? Well, we've got a whole bunch of dimensions here. These are our qualitative fields, and each of our dimensions has members, right? These are values of this dimension. So in our case, we're looking at subcategory, and the different subcategories would be uh, the members of the dimension. So whereas a subcategory would be the actual dimension, you know, the parent dimension. So we could rename any of the members of this dimension with an alias. Now, what's quite cool about an alias is that it doesn't go back and change any of the underlying data. So you don't need to worry about, you know, what state is my Excel file going to be in or how does Tableau change? It? it doesn't. Tableau only changes the value that Excel, I mean, that Tableau presents to you uh, when when you uh, implement that alias. So, okay, so that's that's super useful. I think one thing that's also worth saying is you can't add an alias to a measure, right? You can't like right click and change a sales value or something, thank goodness. Uh, and you can't add an alias to a Tableau data source file, which is also interesting. Um, but there are two ways that I wanna show you how to make an alias, and then we will we'll take a look at how to find them and one or two little quirks. So if you're in a view like ours, right, subcategory and quantity, subcategories are dimension, here are all our members. Maybe we want to say, hey, let's, let's instead of calling it art, maybe we need to alias this with art supplies. Okay, so I can right click on art and edit this alias. Uh, and now I can literally just type in uh, supplies like this, art supplies, and hey, we're good to go. So now Tableau supplies the value art supplies. That's pretty cool. There is no way of me or anyone else knowing that there is an alias in this field unless they right click on the dimension in the data pane or up here, I guess. But uh, if we go to subcategory here and we go to aliases, this is the only way. And now you can see in this window, I've got a little star, you know, an asterisk next to the values that have aliases. So that's the way that we would unpack them and understand you know, what's where. We can clear all our aliases straight away. So if you open up a workbook and you think, wow, someone's gone crazy here, you know, with all our aliases, you can clear them all and start again. So we can hit OK. Uh, but there is one other thing that I want to show you about an alias that I think is quite important. But if this is interesting to you, why not come along to one of our classes uh, that we've got this summer? Uh, we've we've just launched a passport that we're super excited about. It, it gives you access to all our classes for fifty percent off, and you can come and see those in a in a six month period. It'll be really cool to have you there. So why not sign up? Okay. So the one thing that I wanted to show you with an alias is you can't really reference an alias directly. So in our case, suppose we wanted to create a field called colors, and we wanted to say uh, we wanted to highlight subcategory equals art supplies or uh, subcategory equals, I don't know, storage. And so we just want those bars to be highlighted. So, okay, what what have we actually done wrong? Oh, just exists already. Colors, one, cool, let's apply this. And now I'm gonna drag colors one onto the color tab in the marks card. Okay, but take a look at this. Do you see how we literally only have one bar highlighted? So storage is highlighted. But art supplies is not highlighted, even though it's called art supplies. And that's the whole thing with an alias is that uh, what Tableau is doing in the calculated field is it's referencing the true value, you know, the actual value of the member of this dimension, which is not art supplies, it's art. So in our case, we would need to change art supplies to art. And once we apply that, both of these get highlighted. So that's one thing that could be interesting and might make things complicated if you've got a lot of aliases and you can't remember what they are, but you need to reference them directly. So I hope that helps. 
Aliases are super useful, especially when you're wanting to change the actual information that you're presenting to your end users. Perhaps you want to add some abbreviations or you want to shorten long uh, you know, strings. If we're thinking of product names or uh, complex manufacturer names that we can refer to by a single, single name, something like that, an alias could be helpful. Uh, but it is worth considering the impact that that might have in your calculated fields down the line. Are you able to work out what alias goes where, so make sure you track those. Okay, if you've got any comments or questions about aliases or anything to do with Tableau, pop them in the comments uh, or connect with us on LinkedIn and we'd love to help. Awesome, see you next time.